Getting the census right here in Los Angeles and across the nation is incredibly important. You know, we derive for 10 years key resources based on getting an accurate census count. And of course, our political representation is at stake. The census determines how many members of Congress each area has. So here in Los Angeles, getting the census right means hundreds of millions of dollars for education, transportation, and other key essentials that all of us rely on. And it also assures that we retain our political representation in Congress. Back in April, the staff members at the Bureau of the Census recognized that COVID was going to cause a major challenge to the census in this period. And so they put together a plan that would have required eight months worth of counting, including going door to door. But back in August, the Trump administration suddenly reversed that plan and instead would have cut short the census count, ending it this September, which is to say a week from now. We went to court. We joined with a national coalition of cities and counties across the country, as well as the National Urban League and other key organizations. And I'm very pleased to say that the court has now granted a preliminary injunction that puts a stop to the Trump administration's effort to cut back the, out, the outreach to count people accurately in the census. The administration, let's be very clear, if it had had its way, would have had in place a plan that would have almost assured an undercount in hard to count places like here in Los Angeles. This injunction today, which extends the period of the census counting through the month of October, just as the staff experts at the Census Bureau had asked for in the first place, is vital to key resources here in Los Angeles. And this is a major victory. It's a major victory for all of us here in Los Angeles and for everyone across the country who recognizes that an accurate census count is absolutely essential. And I want to say, I think the court saw through the Trump administration's effort to inject political considerations, which have no place in the census process, um, in its determination to attempt to cut back the census counting process. And now, with time so short, we still have now a few weeks to go, I urge everyone who's watching this to make sure that you have submitted your information to the Census Bureau. It's quick, it takes about 10 minutes, and it makes all the difference in the world to all of us here in this region. I, I wanna underscore as a technical matter that earlier, this coalition that went to court had achieved a victory. The court put in place what's called a temporary restraining order that for a period of time forbade the administration from stopping, from cutting back its census outreach. And now with this preliminary injunction today, it takes a step further to assure the accuracy of the census count. I, I wanna thank our partners um, in this litigation. I mentioned some of them before, I'll say it again. Cities and counties across the nation, the Navajo Nation, the Gila River Indian Community, the Black Alliance for Just Immigration, the National Urban League, the NAACP, and the League of Women Voters. And I wanna thank a terrific team here in our office that has been so integral to this outcome. Kate Keneally, Mike Dundas, uh, and Danielle Goldstein, um, along with Valerie Flores. It's a marvelous team that's been involved here. Interestingly, even as this lawsuit has been moving forward, very recently there's been activity in Congress, um, both in the U.S. Senate and in the House of Representatives. There are now bipartisan bills whose support is growing each day that are pending on the floor of each house that ideally would achieve the same goals we're seeking through this litigation. Let me be very clear. In this lawsuit, I have little doubt that the Trump administration is gonna to seek to appeal. They're gonna to try to overturn this preliminary injunction. We are going to fight that effort every step of the way. This court has been exquisite in getting into the nitty gritty details here and assuring a record that I'm confident will survive on appeal, including if that appeal goes to the US Supreme Court. We and the team of which we are a part are gonna fight every step of the way because we're fighting for what the Constitution requires. 
We're fighting for an accurate census count so that we can assure that key resources from which every Angelino benefits come here and that our political representation remains solid in Congress. Let me say a few words in Spanish before I do. I want to thank our team members always at LA City View Channel 35 for being such exceptional uh, members of the media here and assuring that the public is served by getting the word out about key issues. Thank you guys very, very much.